Today's Mother's Day, so I thought I'm going to do this recording for all the mothers, all the daughters as well, all the aunties, and every woman needs to hear this. By the time the Lord made women, he was into his sixth day. And the angel asked and said, Why are you spending so much time on this one? And the Lord answered, Have you seen my speck on her? She has to be completely washable and not plastic. She has to have 200 immovable parts, all replaceable and able to run on just a drink and leftovers. She has to have a lap that could hold more than four children at one time, have a kiss that can cure anything from a scraped knee to a broken heart. And she'll do everything with just two hands. Angel was astounded at the requirements, only two hands, no way. And that's just on the standard model, the Lord said. That's just too much work for one day, the angel said. Wait until tomorrow to finish. But the Lord protested, I won't. I'm so close to finishing this creation that is so close to my heart. She already heals herself when she's sick and can work more than 18 hours a day. The angel moved closer and touched the woman. But you've made her so soft, Lord. She is soft, the Lord said, but I've also made her tough. You have no idea what she can endure or accomplish. Will she be able to think? The angel asked. The Lord replied, not only will she be able to think, she will be able to reason and negotiate. The angel then noticed something and reaching out, touched the woman's cheek. Oops! It looks like you have made a leak in this model. I told you you were trying too hard, Lord. And the Lord said, that's not a leak, that's a tear. What's the tear for? The angel asked. The Lord said, the tear is her way of expressing her joy, her sorrow, her pain, her disappointment, her love, her loneliness, her grief, and her pride. The angel was impressed. You are a genius, Lord. You thought of everything. Women are truly amazing. And she is. Women have strengths that amaze people. They bear hardships and they carry burdens, but they hold happiness, love and joy. They smile when they want to scream. They sing when they want to cry. They cry when they are happy and they laugh when they are nervous. They fight for what they believe in. They stand up to injustice. They take no for an answer, but when they believe there is something better. They go without so their family could have. They go to the doctor with a frightened friend. They love unconditionally. They cry when their children excel and they cheer when their friends get rewards. They are happy when they hear about a birth or a wedding. Their heart breaks when a friend dies or grieve at a family member. Yet they are strong when they think there is no strength left. They know that a hug and a kiss can help to mend a broken heart. Women come in all shapes and sizes, all colors and sizes. They drive, they walk, they send emails. Just to let you know how much they care. The heart of a woman is what keeps this world turning. They bring joy and hope. They have compassion and ideals. They give moral support to their family and friends. Women have vital things to say and everything to give. The one thing on Mother's Day I want to remind every woman, every auntie, every sister, the one flaw in us is that we don't know how invaluable we are. And today, know your worth, know who you are, Know whose you are and know that you are an incredibly blessed, wonderful gift from God. Happy Mother's Day.